Merritt Island High School is very fortunate to have Josh Rauchi as the salutatorian of the class of 2006. Joshua boasts a 4.43 cumulative weighted GPA on a 4.0 scale. He has distinguished himself as an AP scholar by completing three or more AP exams with grades of three or higher. Josh Joshua has also been serving as co-president of the National Honor Society along with memberships in the Beta Club, the Mustang Math Team, Mustang Academic Club, Odyssey of the Mind, and the Independent Film Club. He won the most creative award for his independently made film, Dog Morpheus. Joshua is also very active with our jazz band and marching band and various technical theater arts programs. He plans on attending Florida State University to major in musical composition with hopes of then being able to pursue his dream of writing musical scores for the film industry. Let's welcome Joshua Rauchi. Life's all about choices. <laughs> One of the reasons I'm salutatorian is because of the classes I decided to take. One of the reasons I'm not valedictorian is because of the classes I decided to take. <laughs> I took AP Physics because I thought I was good at, good at physics. Apparently that isn't the case. <laughs> but I don't wholly regret taking the class because I appreciate Mr. Goodson as a teacher. I respect his dedication to helping students and his consistency to do over and above what is required of teachers. Ms. Ayers is another teacher for whom, I'm, for whom I have considerable respect. I love having class discussions with Ms. Ayers, and I know when she's going, I never know what she's going to glare at me for next. Whether my feet are on top of a book they shouldn't be on top of, or if my head is on my desk, or if I happen to glance at the clock, or if maybe I yawned without covering my mouth. But this student would not, this school would not be where it is today if it weren't for teachers like these. Teachers like Mr. Brown, whose intelligence is surpassed only by his kindness and humor. Ms. Grimetta, who is compassionate and generous to all students, even the ones she doesn't know. Ms. Bull, who through example taught us all to be original and creative in our own ways, and Mr. Vaughn, who, whether you liked him or not, was awesome. <laughs> I really don't want to name all the teachers at our school, but all of them deserve our appreciation and gratitude for what they do. The faculty, too. Mr. Schifrin has been a great principal, and his Mustang pride puts us all to shame. And Ms. Tornade has done a wonderful job as our guidance counselor. But anyway, back to being salutatorian. One of the unfortunate things about being salutatorian is that I can't do stupid things anymore. I mean, I could, but then I always get someone who has to make the clever joke, and you're the salutatorian? I've always been an idiot. Being second in the class doesn't make me any less of one. I've collided into numerous glass doors, fallen into countless pools, been soaked by one too many spilled or, car or shaken carbonated beverages, and made a fool of myself every time I attempted a sport. Unless ping pong or foosball count. I'm just no good with sports, but I'm pretty good at music. And that, that is thanks to my parents, who started me out with music before I even liked it. I have two of the greatest parents around. I could always talk to them about anything, and they were all, always reasonable when I asked for something, and always respected my opinion when I thought they were being irrational. I love my discussions with my dad, and my mom has the biggest heart around. Both of them have strong faith in God, and I'm glad to have been raised in such a great home environment with loving parents who always encouraged me in all that I do and who pushed me to do my best in school. They really are the main reason that I'm up here today. Because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't exist. <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully my parents can forgive me for all the confusion that I've caused over how to really pronounce our last name. The story is that it's really pronounced Rauchi, but we've always told people Rossi because it was easier to say. I was the first one in the family to make people say it right. Which, whichever way you say it, it doesn't really matter. Even I say Rossi from time to time. After all, it's not the name that's important. People don't think enough about what's really important. Sometimes I think people misplace their priorities. We all just accept what we're told. I'm guilty of that too, to a certain extent. People will believe what they want to believe, but open-mindedness is a good thing. We need to hear and consider other people's opinions, not immediately reject them. Certainly we can make our own judgments, but you need to at least respect each other. You won't always be able to walk away from what you don't like or agree with. 
So hopefully that's some good advice you can take with you, since typically these speeches have some form of advice for the future. I really don't understand that, though. I'm in the, so I'm in the same boat as all of you. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's not like I have some foresight in the future or some great wisdom that you all should listen to. And I believe different people need different advice. I think all of you are capable of figuring out your own. And even if I could give you advice, it's not like any of you would listen to and remember it, as if years from now you would be like, you know, I, I remember years ago when my high school salutatorian told me to follow my dreams. I should give that a shot. <laughs> On the other hand, I've always been an advocate of optimism. So in that case, follow your dreams, be open-minded and respectful, and take everything one step at a time. While I was writing the speech, I thought it would be a good idea to end in a quote that related to graduation. So, uh, I think E.T. said it best at the end of the Universal Studios ride when he said, Goodbye, Raul and friends. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations to the class of 2006. <laughs>